Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and I just got done filming the tutorial for this tablet stand, and now I'm gonna go through and try to model it just a little bit faster, uh, maybe for people who are a little more familiar with sheet metal, but just curious about how you would model this thing up in Onshape. So I'm gonna choose to close this document. So I'm gonna be looking at a new document. And uh, because this is a speed modeling run here, I am gonna create a new document to begin with. I'll call this one 24-09-08 tablet stand. And I'm going to create this as a public document. I'll call this one tablet stand fast. And I'm gonna create this as a public document and I'm gonna go into my workspace units here and just make sure that I am working in millimeters and working in grams and those are good. So I am now eligible to submit this to the uh, speed modeling leaderboard for this challenge. I'm gonna say, get started. This is at twotalltoby.com. I'm gonna go down here and find this challenge. It is 24 dash. 09-08 so here it is it's already been completed but because i've got a practice models premium subscription i can choose try again and then when i'm done filming this i can go in here to data and analytics and i can upload my speed run so the first time i did this it was 35 minutes let's see if we can do this a little bit faster this time so i'm going to say try again and let's bring up our keyboard cam so you can see what i'm working on and go so what is the mass of this part in xxx grams and i just did this as a tutorial so i already have my game plan so i'm going to start out here on the front plane begin a sketch press the letter n to get normal two and i'm going to create a line here that comes down to 26 I'm going to create a line here that comes across i'm going to come back touch the end point and come off with a tangent arc here and that tangent arc is gonna come off with a radius of six. And then I'm gonna come up here at an angle with another line. And then I'll come off with a perpendicular line here and that's gonna come off at a wall thickness of three millimeters. And the reason that I'm doing that is because that's gonna give me a point that I can reference when I go to make this vertical. So this point here and this point here are gonna be vertical to one another per the drawing. And then I'm gonna create an angle here. This angle is going to be 61 degrees. And then I'm gonna create a distance here to the point of tangent which is going to be 71. There's my first sketch, nice and fully constrained. And now I'm going to choose to turn that into sheet metal. So hit the green check mark, go in here to sheet metal. And I'm going to choose to create that as an extrude using this line, this line, and this line. And that extrude is going to come out to a depth here of 36 over 2. And then the wall thickness is going to be three. The bend radius is going to be three. And that material is going to be bent to the inside. And we hit the green check mark and boom, there is our first feature. Now for our second feature, we're going to create a tab here. So I'm going to pick this face, begin to sketch, orient my view. And I'm going to create a tab here using a rectangle. Let me just adjust that view a little bit. Using a rectangle that comes over here like so. And like we discussed in the tutorial, sometimes on shape gets a little finicky about being right up against the start of the bend. So I'm just going to account for that by putting in a one millimeter gap here at the top of that flat of that tab. And then I'm going to make this distance here 74 over two. Now I'm going to choose the green check mark sheet metal tab. That's going to apply that thickness to that area there. And then I'm going to jump into the move face command and just move that face back up that one millimeter. So it's right up against that corner there. Now I'm ready to create this tab that's sticking out the back here, this flange that's sticking out the back here. That flange is going to go up to that distance of 26 that I put in my first sketch. So I'll show that first sketch so that I can just reference that point. So sheet metal flange click on this edge here i'll say i want that to go up to um outer excuse me outer so that it's flush the outer face of the flange is flush to the original face and then the end type here is going to be up to entity and that's going to go up to this point here and yes that looks good and so we hit the check mark and now we're ready to go to our sheet metal command for um corner relief or corner break we're going to make that a fillet we're going to put in a radius here of 15 millimeters and that's going to be applied to this corner and to this corner now we're going to move on to this upper section once again working with the tab command so begin a sketch on this face and we're going to create a tab here that comes I'll do this with lines here, lines and arcs. So single click, move our mouse over, come back, come around with a radius here of 15. I'll come down here with a uh, vertical line, come over this way, come up with a vertical line, come back, touch the end point, come up and around. And this one is gonna have a radius of 2.5. And then I'll finish off with a, a final vertical line here, like so. 
and I'll take the end point of that vertical line and hook it to this point here. And I will take this arc and this line and make sure that they are tangent by pressing T, T for tangent. And then I'm gonna add a dimension here that goes from this region here to this uh, center. And that is going to be 96 over two. And then a distance from here down to the bottom of uh, where those flanges stick out, 106. And then a distance here from this line to the tangency point of this arc with a distance of 10 millimeters. And so now that I've got that geometry, green check mark to exit that sketch, go into my sheet metal tools. And from my sheet metal tools here, I'm gonna choose tab and this region here. Boom, done. And now I'm ready to create that flange that's sticking out to kind of hold the tablet. So pick this edge here, go to flange, and we're gonna reverse the direction of that. We're gonna make it so that that flange is, its outer face is flush to the original face, so outer. And then we're gonna say that we want that to go to a distance of 30 millimeters. Now we need to fill it off these corners here and this edge should be 25. So I click on the edge and I just real quick look down here in the corner and it is 25. So that means that our fillet here for the corner break is gonna be 12.5, 12.5. And that's gonna be applied here and it's gonna be applied here. And we hit the green check mark. Boom. And now the final thing to do here is just create the geometry that's punching through that kind of slot geometry. So we pick this face here, S key, begin a sketch. And now we're going to create a line. We'll make this line some arbitrary distance, like 60 millimeters. We'll click on this line. We'll go up here to our offset command and underneath offset, we've got slot. And then we're going to make that slot a di distance of 10, enter, enter. And then we're going to create a distance from the very top of the model down to the center point of that slot center point of that slot. And that distance is gonna be 111, 111 to that slot. And now we're gonna say extrude, and that's gonna be a remove to a distance of 10 millimeters, just needs to be enough that it's kind of punching through that bottom face. So 10 millimeters looks like that'll work well. Pick this face here, S key, begin a sketch, N key. And now we're gonna to go to our line arc, line workflow, line, come back, touch the end point, arc, Okay, touch there and then come around to here and to here. And then we're gonna take this point and this line and press I to make them coincident so that that arc has the correct radius. And then we're gonna create a distance here to the center of the arc. And that distance is 58, 58 to the center of that arc. S key extrude, this is gonna be a remove. It's gonna be to say five millimeters, just enough to punch through that lower wall. And we're going to jump into a mirror command. We're going to mirror this entire body here. We're going to mirror it about this face here. We're going to use the add option. And now we are going to go over here to our parts. We're going to right click. We're going to say assign material. And the material is going to come from the TTT custom materials library. It's going to be plain carbon steel. We're going to hit the green check mark. We're going to go down here to display our mass properties. We're coming up with 428.1. So let's bring the app back into play here. 428.1 and enter. Yes. Six minutes, 58 seconds. Much better than our original time of 34 minutes. And that's the cool thing about Practice Models Premium is that once you get in there and you do the model once, you can then, uh, you know, figure it out, make sure that you get the right answer, and then you can start challenging yourself. Is this workflow faster? Is this workflow faster? And that's by using that try again function. So let me know in the comments, do you prefer that long 35 minute explanation, the tutorial version, or do you prefer this version where we just kind of blast through it in seven minutes? I hope that you guys enjoyed this speed run. I'm gonna save the, I'm gonna submit this, I'm gonna save the video, and then I'm gonna upload the video and add it to the speed run section at tutaltoby.com. So be sure to hit the like button, be sure to leave me some comments down below, let me know what you thought about this video, and I will see you in the next On Shape Sheet Metal Fast Speed Modeling video. See you, everybody.